I mean, my main question going into this in a spacey matchup, I mean, obviously Sheik uh, does pretty well against Falco, but will he be able to hit those long uh, reaction tech chases, mm. or is he more of a reads-based kind of uh, comboing player off tech chase? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, that's kind of the the thing with the switch from PAL to NTSC is even though these Sheik players in Europe that now have a better down throw option, how used to it are they yeah, if they've yeah, only yeah. recently switched to NTSC, you know? And of course, yeah, AMSA has, of course, competed on the version for a while, but yeah, growing up with that different version has to Change get, get in your head a little, a little bit, yeah. Because, right. like, to answer a bit, like, AMSA is not that much of a tech chasing kind of chic, for sure, but uh, is definitely more comfortable in the spaces matchup than he is on the floaty matchup. Mm -hmm. uh, both of them never played. But as you can see, it's just like, when you hit a space, it is still a spacey. And Amsa will be definitely ready for that, as uh, Netherland is full of spaces anyway. Yeah, we talked right. about that yesterday. Netherland, or sorry, the Dutch players are just full space animals, yep. at least back in the day. Where was, uh, where was Zork from? Where was Zork? So uh, Norway. Was, wasn't it Norway? Norway, Norway. Yeah, yeah. Norway. I just, I, That's a was, throwback. Yeah, he was sick, and then I, I just remember... Uh, Laudandis would name his Falco Zork Jr. <laughs> <laughs> deep cut. Yeah, it's a, it's a super deep cut. Um, yeah, Amsa generally been strong against Spacey's. Uh, the couple times I've been to Europe, he had some really good wins on Spacey's. Uh, some incredible Fox player. The name escapes me, but from the U.S., from Virginia originally. And Amsa took him out. <laughs> wow, maybe an old school player. <laughs> Very possible. A, le a legend yeah. even. Yeah. <laughs> Some would say one of the greatest of all time. Right. <laughs> Some. <laughs> I, 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 feel that, that, I feel like that match would be a challenge actually for Kinzo, because I feel like even if you're super fast and uh, super clean Falco, you really need to play the really good macro and read based game to play with on the Amsal level, I want to say. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel like that's going to be one of the challenges uh, for that stronger player that yeah. Kinzo is. Kinzo doing really well so far, though, especially on this stock. Okay, Let's see if he manages to survive. He does. Yeah, nice high angle. Great recovery. Yeah, mm. And the tech skill been so clean from Kinzo this whole tournament so far that we've seen. Oof. Every single one of those needles hit. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good feeling. <laughs> the a sound, of sound effect is so good. Young 17, 18 percent. Mm -hmm. Oh. Kinzo was not prepared for their air dodge at all. And Amso's cool. converting an entire stock off of it. Finally makes it back through a wave lane on the platform. Good stuff by Kinzo. Good mix up on the grab there. Oh, but oh. it's just out of percent wow, for combo. That was so good from Amso. Smart Nair there, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like Amsa is really good at finding those tiny <gasps> openings. It's really good at, at just like maintaining the pressure while close range and getting those tiny reads that will just stack up again and again. It's really good at covering different uh, defensive options from the spaces. So yeah. Well, even yeah. he even opened that stock up with 60% just from an aggressive uh, up tilt show pressure. So really good stuff by Amsa. Kenzo coming back with up air shine. Yeah, it's not. Oh over my yet. god. Oh. He thought he was off stage while he went for that side B. Yeah, but such confident pressure by Kinzo there. Mm -hmm. Amsa just narrowing out. Yeah, I like that Kinzo is not. Oh, oh that momentum to the right too much to handle for the side B. But I did like that Kinzo, even at his high percent situations, was still kind of going in. He wasn't giving up the game plan. Just but because he was at high percent. That's the razor's edge of uh, Falco's shield pressure. He hit mm -hmm. one nair just a little too high on shields and got uh, naired out of shield for it. Mm -hmm. Props to Amsa for catching him with those uh, nairs out of shield, seeing those openings to actually execute. Amsa looking at the sky. <laughs> <laughs> but he d does have the match advantage here. It's Kinzo's counterpick. Wouldn't be surprised to see Yoshi's here. Is FD not... Uh, FD, FD or Yoshi's are the general... Okay, well, we go Stadium. So all three of them pretty solid for Spacey's against Sheik, though. Um, Yoshi's is generally a little bit better for Falco than Fox against Sheik, which is why I was maybe expecting to see it. But uh, Stadium's certainly not a bad pick. Amsa going for that dash tech chase, tech chase again, but just barely losing to Shine. Good combo by Kinzo. 
Oh! Oh! oh. Beautiful oh, from Kinzo. He started off hot last game too, though, and we saw how that ended up. So he's got to be careful. And yeah, the instant answer for Mamsa. Great needle edge guard there. <laughs> Love that Mamsa put his shield up after that unsafe nair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great combo here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kinzo is so aggressive here. Yeah. And in his aggression, he's mixing in his reads to to keep it going. It's been really good. Mm. Unfortunate it's for Kinzo. Been pretty accurate. Yeah, no, his his tech skill has been on point the whole time. Small detail, but he he actually down aired some needles in the ground and still L canceled it, which is <laughs> super rare. It's, it's not that easy. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, that's kind of interesting you picked out. Oh, go for it, go for it. Just pointing out how defensive Opso is playing there, just spacing on the, the ledge so confidently with forward air. But now he's in a chance to recover here. Wow, good edge guard by Kinzo. I feel like he's confident that just like, has he found many opening while Kinzo was attacking on the first game? Maybe he's just like confident to play near the edge, ready to find a game on the Falco or something like that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice oh. little combo. That might be the stock. Oh, okay. Barely gets on stage. I thought Amsa was going to do some kind of back air edge guard, but yeah. Amsa, a very safe player in general, is not going to take too many risks. But sometimes that comes back to bite you. Might right here. Okay. Wow, big pickup on that forward tilt. Amsa could have closed that stock out a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Finally finds it. Took a little extra damage for it. Let's see if Kinzo can make that count. Falco, you, you really want to avoid that uh, grounded needle because that's the only time they're going to shoot it is basically full stage away on the ground, <laughs> yeah, right? right? So <laughs> get that shield up. They get shook when they can't just reflect it. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh good eye on that. Yeah, I wonder if you could have up aired a little later and mm -hmm. secured it. Nice PC drop there by Kinzo. Okay. And he's still in this game for sure. Yeah. One solid combo here. Whoa! Oh. That's definitely an accident, I think. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe some crazy tech with the fact that he was still invincible. I don't know. <laughs> Shout out to Topo. King of the forward smash. Yeah. King. The only person oh. that uses it Does on it purpose. On purpose. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Great stream. Okay. Okay! What? Oh, oh Kinzo, no! Just press L! Oh, oh the pressure again! Oh, okay. Great, yeah, quick yeah. recovery, though. And he's just laying the pressure right back on Amsa. Mm -hmm. This Falco does not delay. Okay. He needs to close out this edge guard. He's got there it. You go. Okay, yeah. Wow. Played it a little bit safe on that last edge guard, which makes a lot of sense considering he had a couple opportunities before. But Kinzo does even the setup one game apiece. Last stock situation, he mm -hmm. has no fear just down air pressuring Amsa's shield mm -hmm. despite having such crazy interactions throughout the set. Yeah. No, I love uh, the confidence here by no. Kinzo. Kinzo does not slow down. I don't think I've seen him slow down at all in any of the last two yeah. sets we've seen. The man likes to press buttons. That's mm -hmm. why he's on a box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think he can oh get my a God, box I, unless I, you love pressing I just remembered he's on the box, too. Yeah. I forgot that. <laughs> that makes it even more impressive yeah. to me. Yeah. That's what makes like this. I feel like old. Go ahead. Uh, I, I was about talking about the, the choice of the stage, but uh, go for it if you want to still talk about the Oh, no, no, I was um, just going to say something stupid about the uh, <laughs> the difference in uh, Zoomer versus Boomer right here. Like, we got the, <laughs> like one of the most old <laughs> players on a regular controller versus one of the newest with the, with the, with the box. Moving fast as shit, Hugo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, not, not a point worth making, Foster. Yours was probably going to be better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I just felt like Pokemon Center was a, was a good choice, just like... Because Amsa is really good at closing the distance and then making the pressure, and I feel like Enzo just used very well the wall space that Pokemon Stadium uh, allowed him, actually, to shoot some laser, taking some distance, mm -hmm. not falling into some dash attack or grab shin again or stuff like that. Oh, and just like, Enzo! Wait. That was crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, but I agree. Uh, definitely a good stage choice. Uh, oh, God. oh. I, I imagine that, uh, you know, in that same vein, he's going to be looking at FD um, for the next yeah. stage, if he has to counterpick on the next stage. Mm -hmm. For that same advantage. But, uh, the thing is, like, Amsa definitely needs to not get open. I mean, Kinzo is just so strong on this punish game. We just saw it on the Pokemon Stadium. In all the matches we saw him play, 
So it's really dangerous. <laughs> Hugo, am I crazy here, or does this Falco like remind you of like a lamb chop, shizwiz, aggressive Falco, just down airing constantly? Yeah, no, well, definitely. A lot of Falcos will be mixing in Nair and uh, and back away back air mm -hmm. a lot more, but. Kinzo just loves to lay on the down air. Yeah. yeah. I guess uh, when you point oh. that out, uh, that's the big difference I think of when I think of someone like Lamb Chops and Mango, where they're both aggressive, but one just really, really loves to down air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one has limited his move choice to Ooh. pretty much one aerial, <laughs> Ooh. and it works. Ooh. Yeah. Good clean up there. Clean Bam mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, here we go though. Kin oh. Kinzo combos. Yeah. Finds uh, him in the air. So clean, man. I've Rare to see him miss an L cancel, shield drop, anything really. He's, he's just on point with all of it. Yeah, a little late on that up smash by Amsa, and that should be the stock. Mm -hmm. So Kinzo on the verge of going up to one. He's so good at catching all of the Amsa's double jump or landing. Mm -hmm. Like, it has been so precise on it. It's just crazy. Like, often sometimes, you know, when you miss a combo with Falco, you'd rather just read it neutral or stuff like that. But him is always on the on the verge of attacking as soon as uh, Amsa is about to land. But for now, it's Amsa's Amsa turn. Dude, he's so oh, good at the quick side bees. Yeah. Amsa cleaning out that stock, though. Oof, just constantly moving forward here. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, that's it trade. for clean pressure. Yeah. Man. Perfect trade there. Wow. Catching the jump. Kinzo yeah. up two one. Rough by Amsa to uh, back her on stage there like that. Yeah. It's it's tough to say, but she can usually not be that aggressive. Yeah. Uh, it's a, coming it's, back. It's a mm. gamble. You're putting it on the line. You're you're putting out some protection, but if you get caught, if they read it. Uh, then it's GG's for Sheik. Um, Sheik's love to double jump and attack at the ledge, so, yeah. you know, uh, you just gotta pick and choose when it's the right time to do it. Yeah. I'm loving the fearlessness from Kinzo in general. Like, mm -hmm. that that last stock, he's, you know, shield pressuring Amsa at the ledge. They're both on last stock, obviously, is at low percent, but if he gets grabbed, if he has slightly unsafe, unsafe shield pressure, that could be stock for him right there. That could be the end of the game, but he was still moving forward with his shield pressure, just confidence in the fact that it was going to be safe. And I, I got to see that edge guard on stock one again where he uh, wall jump back aired yeah, on, the, on the left side of the stage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was not expecting that at all. Mm -hmm. Good character knowledge. Those... Those are the types of edge guards you expect more from like a very experienced, you know, like veteran of the game, not necessarily a newer player like Kinzo. Yeah. But he's looking very, very confident in his gameplay. I'm surprised Amsa gave up the, the short status times of dreams to go on Dreamland. Mm -hmm. Let's see how that's gonna how we gonna be able to handle that. Maybe you want to just like avoid more of the Falco pressure, I wanna say. Maybe try to land a bit more easier with Dreamland. Yeah, I'm so... confused by it too. It seems like just a polar opposite of a choice for a stage there, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess if the first one didn't work, you try something brand new. Oh my. Oh, oh and the Yo. push off. Oh. Enzo is going wild. Yeah, he actually, he actually pushed him off his shield there on the platform before shining. That was a guaranteed shine. Kinzo. Not letting up here. Wow. Again, if he wins this, this is a big win for Kinzo, actually. A very big win. I mean, Amsa always has been in the top 10 in Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, that's gonna be a big W. So they've never matched up before, right? I'm guessing. Uh, not not on my, on the data that I found. Okay. Mm, but I don't, I don't think so. As they are far from each other, Germany and Netherlands, mm -hmm. it seems that they never face. Yeah, Amsa potentially fighting for his tournament life right now. He's got to try and close this gap a bit more. But Kinzo's just not letting up on the pressure. This pressure's crazy. How much of this set has Amsa just spent in his shield, rolling away and yeah. trying, to, trying to escape this pressure? Finally finds a grab here. Okay, he's got to make this count. Nice. Good start. Fourth throw. I oh. <gasps> what? That was so... Oh! That shield oh shine stall was so well timed. It, did he shine stall there? I was. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I, I thought that there was brilliant by Amsa, but it just barely missed. Yeah, no, the perfect stall from Kinzo. 
That what was, what a reversal. That that was Amsa's way back into this game. Yeah. And oh. he had to take a risk like that, you know? Mm -hmm. Just to get back in it and uh Kenzo calling it out. Yeah. Man, Kenzo looking super solid right now. Yeah, it seems good though. But afterwards we all know the comeback of Amsa. Oh, we yeah. all know it. <laughs> the legend. Can yeah. happen again? Arguably the greatest comeback in melee history. So it's definitely still possible. Was it against Ek? Is Ek. that the one we're talking about? Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Good, good conversion so far, but he just needs to find the kill here. Great nair in through by Kinzo. Wow. Oh! So he's going to take the stock. Guys, yeah. YouTube Amsa vs. Ek from 2005, if you haven't seen it. That's EK. EK. Mm -hmm. One of the best comebacks ever. Not saying... Yeah. Uh, not, not saying we're going to get one. <laughs> okay, he's got a chance. But Amsa's done it before! Okay, he's playing really patiently, <laughs> waiting for an opening. Oh, moving around. No! That's yeah. Yeah. That's it. Nice. Got him! Nice. Yeah. And Damn. once again, Kinzo just going in at the ledge on his last stock with a 150% <laughs> lead. He's like, whatever, I'm fine. My, yeah. my, well, my shield pressure when you, is safe. When you space it that well, uh, completely outside of Sheik's shield grab range, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, he knew that Amsa was just waiting for the classic you know, ledge shield grab back throw. Yeah. Did yeah. not give it to him. But that speaks to uh, the confidence mm -hmm. that you were talking about, Chillin. Yeah. It's that uh, he knows his, his timing's good, his tech skill's good, and he's just going to go in. He knows his uh, his pressure is pretty f close to frame perfect, so he's getting away with it. Awesome. Yeah, man. And actually, I I'm super impressed on the fact that on the first game, Amsa found so many Nair out of shield. And after the first game, he barely find any, mm -hmm. which is definitely prove your point on how <laughs> technical uh, Kinzo can be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, technical yet safe and well-spaced. So. Right. Yeah. That's that's the difference, right? There's a lot of uh, up and coming players who will look at players like Kenzo, players like Mango, and want to mimic the aggression that they show in their matches. But uh, what needs to be understood is that all their aggression is actually safe. Right. Right. They're applying pressure while leaving themselves. They're not leaving themselves vulnerable at the yeah. same time. Yeah, and it's not it's not hard to do that a little bit, but to do that consistently throughout <laughs> oh, an entire time. set like Kenzo <laughs> is doing is mm -hmm. is extremely impressive. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah. Kinzo's really good, man. <laughs> He's really good. Yeah, I'm excited to see more of him in this bracket as he moves on in losers. Good run from Amsa. Had a great showing versus Triff and uh, solid showing against Kinzo as well. But I think Kinzo is definitely putting himself on the map a little bit here. Yeah, chilling. You were right. He did shine stall the shine there, stall. and it yep. was like barely as soon as the nair was over was when he <laughs> decided to double jump out of that. Like it was timed so well. We're going to see more of uh, Kinzo later in the brackets. And, yeah, of course, check out our stats here. A lot of damage done. Over 2,000 by Kinzo. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> and the IPM, over 400, of course. Falco, really technical character. Mm -hmm. Man. Oh, my God. Great stuff from Kinzo. And I feel like in most sets, Amsa's inputs per minute would be a lot higher than that. But... He was just stuck in his shield so often that <laughs> yeah. Kinzo Dude, was putting on the pressure. Uh, I play a little chic too. That reminded me of like playing Squid yesterday in, <laughs> in my game five. I spent the entire game in my shield just uh, <laughs> rolling around. Right. And uh, so that's just props to Kinzo's pressure, as you said. Yeah. Nicely done. But we will have more EU bracket action coming up after this quick break. Stay tuned.